Okay, we're here with CLA. He's going to give us our last final mixing tip from Waves headquarters. Chris, give it to us. Push the faders up and get it balanced before you put a compressor on every single channel. Okay? Don't process until you listen to the song first and see what needs the processing, okay? A lot of times when I'm setting up a mix, I will go through individual tracks looking for problems and I will start processing. And then pretty much I go through, listen to the rough, and see what I need to undo or add to. So don't just process everything before you hear the whole song. Are there sometimes when you like open up a track and there's half of the track, or some of the tracks don't even need processing, it's been recorded well, and, and or there's some things that you're always, no, 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 you're always gonna process this, that, and the other, is there? If you process everything, you eliminate the dynamics and you actually eliminate it. You make every finger stand up the same way. So a, song can, is, a song is supposed to have certain areas where the dynamics pop up and down and parts will, will work as a puzzle. You know, imagine if you made every puzzle piece the same. It's gonna be really hard to make it interesting. So you have to actually look and see what needs processing and what doesn't. What needs a sound and what doesn't. And are there any instruments that lend themselves more to like being more natural where you don't need to touch them or does it really just depend on how it's been recorded? No, well, it's really simple. A distorted guitar. You know why it's distorted? It's compressed. You know how much dynamics it has? Zero, okay? Um, drums, if you compress them so much, then they don't even work in a song, okay? They're supposed to pop through, okay? So there are certain things, like there's certain keyboards that if you look at the waveform, it's a square wave. So how much processing does it need besides maybe tonally? So I, I per, the biggest tip is that don't overcompress. Mix with your ears, not with your eyes. Don't watch the audio going by. Turn the screen and listen to the music. Learn the song and listen to it. If you're gonna look, look at levels. Don't watch the waveforms go by. You're not watching TV here. You're making music. You're creating art. You're creating a sound experience. So focus on the music, not watching the audio. That's fair. I mean, even just like closing your eyes and, and trying to really focus on what you're hearing uh, instead of looking at all the knobs, looking at all the, you know, the levels going up and it's all kind of distracting, isn't it? You're like a zombie watching the screen. Use those as musical cues, but not a lot of people like, if it looks good, it sounds good. No, if it sounds good, it sounds good. It doesn't matter how it looks, okay? I remember the, the great Tal Hertzberg used to say, it's not, you don't engine eye, it's engineer. I used to like. Exactly, don't engine eye, engineer, yes. And Tal was a friend of mine also, so. Tal, here's a tip that I share with you. Don't engine eye, engineer. Chris, thank you so much. You have been incredibly quite welcome. generous with your time, your knowledge. I know that everyone watching these tips is going to enjoy them and get a lot out of them. So we appreciate you being here with us. Waves headquarters, CLA, Lord of the Mix. Thanks for having me here at Waves HQ. I hope these mixing tips help every single one of you mixing. So enjoy.